Hey what's up guys in this video we are going to talk about CSS tables. So in HTML we can dramatically improve the look of one table using the CSS style sheet. Like an example we have the table. So first of all we have selected the row and inside the first row we have the table head which contains the name, role and the age. And the next row has the table data where the name is Sam role is 1 and the age is 20. So this way the table contains 4 rows with the individual data. Now we can use the CSS and we can style the table. So first of all I'm gonna select the table and the table head and the table data and now I'm gonna add border around the table, table head and table data. So we're gonna use the border property and we're gonna add one pixel solid red so you can see we have border around the table table head and table data now you can see there are double border in the table now to remove the double border we can use the border collapse property so we can use border collapse and we can set it to collapsed and this way we can remove the double border in a table and also we can set the height and width of the table using the width and height property like an example we can select the table and then we can use the width property and we can set the width of the table to 100 percent and you can see the table is taking the full width of the browser and also we can set it to 50 percent so now the table will take half the width of the browser so I'm gonna set it 100% and also we can use the height property so I'm gonna select the table head and I'm gonna use the height property and I'm gonna set the height of the head to 50 pixel and you can see the height of the table head is now 50 pixel and also we can set the alignment of text inside the table using the text align property like an example we can select the table data and now we can use the text align property and we can make the text center and also we can make it right and also we can make it left and next we have the vertical align property so we can use the vertical align property and we can set the vertical alignment of the text in the table to demonstrate that i'm gonna add some height to the table data so i'm gonna add the height of 40 pixel and now we can set the vertical align value as top and you can see all the text vertically aligned to the top of the table now also we can set it to bottom and this way all the table data will be vertically aligned to the bottom of the table so instead of having the border around the table we can use the border bottom property and we can use the border as a horizontal divider like an example we can select the table row and then we can use the border bottom property and we can add one bottom border of one pixel solid gray so this way we can add the bottom border which is like a horizontal divider and also we can create one hoverable table where whenever we hover over the row then the row will be highlighted so for that we're gonna select the tr colon hover and then whenever we hover over our table for each row the background color will be light blue so now you can see whenever we put our mouse over the row the background color changes to light blue so this way we can create one hoverable table and also we can create one zebra stripe table for that i'm gonna select the row and then i'm gonna use the nth child function and inside the function i'm gonna pass event so this function will select all the event row so for all the event row i'm gonna set the background color to light coral and you can see all the event number of rows having the light coral background color and this way we can create the zebra stripe table so this is the way we can use the css and we can dramatically improve the look of the table
So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.